In 2007, just as the U.S. housing market was beginning to collapse, internal company memos show Goldman Sachs was raking in big profits. Carl Levin, the chairman of a Senate panel investigating the firm's actions, pointed to company emails that he said shows the company was betting against its own investments. Yet the evidence shows that Goldman repeatedly put its own interests and profits ahead of the interests of its clients. The SEC, which filed a civil lawsuit against Goldman Sachs, claims the company actively promoted mortgage-backed securities that were designed to fail, a charge Goldman CEO Lloyd Blankfein denies. What we do is risk management. Goldman and other company executives are expected to launch a vigorous defense when they face lawmakers Tuesday. But political observers say it's no coincidence the hearing is taking place just as Senate Democrats are pushing for speedy passage of its financial reform package. Senator Chris Dodd on NBC's Meet the Press. We are 17 months after someone broke into our house, in effect, and robbed us, and we still haven't even changed the locks on the doors. I don't Republican Senator Richard I Shelby says Democrats, Democrats still lack the necessary 60 votes to pass financial reform. But with recent polls suggesting Americans in favor of tougher bank regulations, Shelby is confident a bipartisan agreement can be reached soon to end Wall Street's worst practices. And we're going to end that. I believe the Democrats and Republicans both want to do that. Analysts say Goldman Sachs has become a useful symbol for Democrats to escalate the debate over financial reform. Levin says Tuesday's hearing will shine a bright spotlight on the inner workings of Wall Street. Milar Sega, VOA News.